What's up guys, let's make a Molin update because it has been a while since I made a video for you all. I wanna give you my overall thoughts on the company, the stock right now, really what's going on. Right now we are having a massive red day in the overall stock market. This was due to CPI data that came out this morning and I'm holding tight on some certain stocks, but with Mullen, you know, I've made my stance pretty clear. I've, I've said what I've had to say about the CEO and the board and I'm not owning any shares and I've given you guys my honest opinion on what's really going on with the company. It's been through hell and back, right? Maybe it's still in hell because we are massively down in the stock. We've hit all time lows as of yesterday for Mullen Automotive. Nothing seems to be changing. David, the CEO, he still talks to retail. I get messages in my DMs on X of people communicating with David, but nothing is changing. So it's all talk, there's no work. I mean, it just blows my mind with where the stock is at today. You can see the overall market is taking a hit right now. The Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 down over 1%. So you know when this is down, individual stocks are completely down. But in a sea of red, Mullen is green right? Pretty much every stock is down except Mullen Automotive. Not up by much though, but just wanted to let you guys know that. You can see below me, the volume's at 173,000. The market cap is at 26 million. It doesn't look good, to be honest with you all, with Mullen Automotive. The market cap keeps going lower. Um, the stock price keeps going lower. Stock is being diluted. It's been diluted for years now, it seems like. And nothing is changing with the board owning shares. Reason great it's green today but the reason i'm not excited about it is this is a month right and you can just see the red it's upsetting i remember we made a post right around here i said hey due to the keltner channels we should pop here very soon but don't hold your breath right if you haven't seen that video go watch that video it's probably about a week ago or two weeks ago um, and that's what happened because we were touching the bottom of the keltner channel and then it ran and then crashed down again so unfortunately it doesn't last long these little runs they last maybe one or two days and then the stock sells off and this has been the story for the last 12 to 18 months honestly in february of 2023 so a little over 12 months ago they started diluting massively david sold over 5 million shares in february of 2023 alone and you could just look at the charts yourself and you'll see that something is not right here now mullen did put out news a couple days ago you can see Market Watch actually wrote about it saying EV maker Mullen is making big cost cuts moving away from the consumer market. Okay, so this is what I've been saying they should focus on the whole time is commercial. Is they got to go all in on commercial business. That's where the big money is, right? You think about businesses, they're going to be buying 10, 100, 1000, multiple thousands of vehicles. If the world truly is going EV, I don't know why Mullen never focused on this to begin with. They have all these fancy products, these sports cars that David is trying to market. First of all, that sports car is never gonna sell, okay? I've said this in my videos multiple times that they should just focus on the class one van and maybe this vehicle too. Commercial business, right? And I know there's stuff floating around online where there is a van that's finally on the road and a company bought it apparently, one van so far I've seen, but I mean, if this business wants to be profitable, if they want to win in the EV space, they're not going to beat Tesla. They're not going to beat all these other companies, but they could beat these EV companies with the class one van with RRDS. That's the whole goal. That's why I got very excited about Mullen Automotive and why I started covering the stock. And then you realize, well, the CEO is the worst CEO that's ever been a CEO, completely. The board doesn't own any shares and the stock is just going lower in price and they've been diluting it and there's been three reverse stock splits. So really, where do we go from here? And the answer is I have no idea. But if I was a part of Mullen Automotive and if I was in charge of what was actually happening or I even worked for the company, it's common sense. Go all in on the class one van, class three, whatever it is, go market that product, go all in on it and stop with these games of wanting a fancy sports car or anything like the Mullen 5. Like I've said from day one, the Mullen 5 is not going to be a good option. It's not gonna be a good product. You're not gonna compete with Tesla. I've always said go commercial. 
So it's interesting that now they want to do that. So they painted this whole picture for us. And I really think this is just to get us excited again. So for these reasons, I'm not buying any more Mullen stock. I haven't bought and I made that very clear over the last several months to everyone that has been a part of this channel. Um, I do hold some shares still and I'll probably hold those shares until this ship sinks or until it starts to move up again. And I've also said that in my videos. So just want to make this video to give you guys an update where I'm at, not financial advice, do your own research. Hope you guys have a great one. See you on the next one.